Chapter 1. Flat Earth Interest on the Rise. Indonesia Googles Flat Earth the Most. The following data set was collected between 1104 and 61117. The chart depicts topical interest within Google searches for the term flat earth for as far back as Google Trends permits, which is from January 1st, 2004 to today, June 11th, 2017. The horizontal x-axis is the timeline, and the vertical y-axis represents a scale between 0 and 100, where 0 is no searches, and 100 is peak searches. In other words, its greatest height represents the most it was ever searched, and 50% represents half of the amount of its peak. In this manner, it is an internally gauged interest level, and thus relative, and not pegged to a specific number of searches, beyond less than 1%, meaning zero. Specifically, Google states, quote, Numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region and time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half as popular. Likewise, a score of 0 means the term was less than 1% as popular as the peak. This narrow and non-comprehensive analytics study consists only of results generated from people whom input the term flat earth on Google's search engine over the last 13 years and does not include similar searches on the same engine, such as alternate spellings or shorter or longer phrases, or the same or similar searches on other engines, such as Yahoo, Bing, Baidu, etc. However, within these confines, it does offer a broad overview of general interest in flat earth and geolocational data pertaining to interest in said term. Flat Earth as a worldwide search term between January 1st, 2004 and June 11th, 2017 peaked in February of 2017, which was the month Kyrie Irving spoke his FE beliefs on the road tripping podcast from 30,000 feet, specifically on 217 2017 The event of Kyrie spiked the, quote, relative month-to-month interest by 53% trailing just behind this flat earth peak interest in February of 2017 was the second most significant gain in relative interest from month to month, which occurred a little over a year prior in January of 2016, when B.O.B. began tweeting about flat earth on Twitter, which caused the search term to jump from 27% the previous month, December 2015, up to 71% in January of 2016, an overall 44% gain in interest levels. The month after B.O.B. and Neil deGrasse Tyson caused Flat Earth to reach a 71% interest level, the search term dipped back down to 47% in February of 2016, reaching a new high bottom of 31% in March of 2016. And as you'll see on the chart above, over the next 10 months, interest searching Flat Earth crept upward on a long and steady ascent from its new high bottom of 31% in March up to 47% in January of 2017. The following month when Kyrie aired, it jumped up to 100%. Kyrie spoke on the 17th. The following month, Flat Earth dipped back down to 76%. Flat Earth as a Google search term didn't really begin heating up until 2015. To put the attention toward Flat Earth in context, over four years, that's 54 months, From November 2009 until April of 2015, FE interest levels didn't surpass 11%, hovering mostly around 8% or 9%. From May of 2015 until December of 2015, the month preceding the B.O.B. Neil deGrasse Tyson Twitter debate, Flat Earth search levels climbed steadily from 13% to 27%, showing a steady gain of 14%. Keep in mind that all of these percentages are relative to the peak interest level that occurred when Kyrie went flat, which shows up as a saturated 100. Although we don't know specifically how many searches this consisted of, we do know that the story was covered by essentially every mainstream sports news channel. For example, ESPN, Sports Illustrated, New York Post, Sports, and Fox Sports, and other news sources as well. For example, for example Denver Post, Rolling Stone, and The New Yorker. Since its all-time high or second ceiling in February of 2017, the search term Flat Earth dropped down to 76% in March of 2017 and 69% in April of 2017, and then has inched back up to 73% this May of 2017. And this mid-June has dipped to 66%. Remember, 50% means the term is half as popular as at its peak, which all 
although we don't have numerical data on, we can assume as the effect of Kyrie Irving going flat. This means after remaining at or below 11% for 54 months, November of 2009 through April of 2015, flat earth as a worldwide Google search term over the last 14 months between April of 2016 to May of 2017 has gained a whopping 41%. This means that overall interest levels have nearly doubled in 14 months relative to peak interest. Since the most recent high bottom of 32% in April of 2016, which concluded the steady fall off of the BOB action, flat earth interest has remained above that mark and risen a total of 42% to the 74% interest level shown in May of 2017. As of mid-June of 2017, Google searches for flat earth rests at 67%, well above half of peak interest. Of topical relevance, maybe that the top 24 countries with the most searches for flat earth since 2004 are as follows. Indonesia, 100%. New Zealand, 89%. United States, 89%. Australia, 81%. Canada, 76%. United Kingdom, 64%. Norway, 53%. Singapore, 50%. Ireland, 50%. Philippines, 48%. Sweden, 37%. Denmark, 35%. Malaysia, 31%. Finland, 30%. Netherlands, 29%. Romania, 23%. Belgium, 21%. India, 18%. Germany, 12%. Poland, 9%. Italy, 7%. Spain, 6%. France, 5%. And Brazil, 4%. Now, flat earthers know which countries to develop translations for. Hint, auto-translate Indonesian. Indonesia accounts for the country-specific geographic saturation point, indicating Indonesians Google flat earth more than any other country by a margin of 9%. Just behind New Zealand and the U.S. and Australia and Canada. Google Trends also gives information on the top 19 cities, which are Bandang, 100%, Minneapolis, 84%, Surabaya, 75%, Brisbane, 65%, Jakarta, 57%, Melbourne, 55%, Sydney, 55%, Seattle, 48%, Dallas, 48%, Houston, 45%, Atlanta, 43%, Los Angeles, 43%, Washington, 42%, San Francisco, 42%, Chicago, 41%, Toronto, 38%, New York, 34%, London, 34%, and Singapore, 25%. A point of note is that all these measurements were taken up through June 11th, 2017, and that even a single refresh after this point seems to toggle the numbers around a small amount. Thus, these interest levels are both general and relative. The first, third, and fifth cities with the most interest in flat earth are all in Indonesia, Bandung, Surabaya, and Jakarta. Why there is a heightened, a heightened interest in searching flat earth in Indonesia remains unknown. I suppose it had to be somewhere, and that somewhere is Indonesia. The heaviest clustering of searches in Indonesia, which is to say peak flat earth interest, is occurring in Bandung, the capital city of West Java, located at minus 7 degrees south latitude and 108 degrees north longitude. As to why Minneapolis came up second, it is most likely because of a brewery named Flat Earth Brewing Company. Though of late, it may be influenced by YouTuber Authentic Intent, who seems to be letting everybody in Minneapolis know the Earth is flat. Whether or not the founders of the Flat Earth Brewery are Flat Earthers is unknown. They did name their Cygnus X1 Porter after a black hole, which suggests not. Regardless, Flat Earth Brewing provides for amusing comments such as this one on their Google reviews. I would highly recommend Flat Earth to anyone that is willing to give beer a try or that already loves beer. Also, this choice parenthetical published in the Star Tribune. Privately held Flat Earth produced 1,300 barrels of beer in 2012. So, after Indonesia, the next major player is Australia, with the 4th, 6th, and 7th most interested cities, Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney, respectively. From there, it skips across the USA, Seattle, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, LA, Washington, San Fran, and Chicago. One piece of information that can be gleaned from this is that despite the larger presence of cities in the USA that are searching flat earth, the cities in Indonesia and Australia are doing it a lot more and setting the bar in the case of Bandung, the capital of West Java. Also important to consider as evidenced by the Flat Earth Brewing Company is that not all queries for flat earth indicate someone is looking into the shape of the earth. In Minneapolis, they may just be looking for a pint. Similarly, Flat Earth has been used as a novelty title to indicate unintelligence, such as the 6% bump that occurred in February of 2008 
where interest levels reached 19%, most likely tied to the publication of a book called Flat Earth News by Nick Davies. Davies' title essentially equated Flat Earth with the Confederacy of Dunces. Similarly, Thomas Friedman's Flat Earth Economics, published in March of 2005, in the wee years of this datalog, has nothing to do with the shape of the Earth, but rather covers the function of international economics. Along this line of thought, another spike of 9% between July of 2008 and August of 2008 was most likely from an article published in the 7th August edition of Nature magazine entitled Geology, the End of Flat Earth, which was three paragraphs indicating that numerical simulations ran by Patrice Ray at the University of Sydney in Australia and Nicolas Coltus at the University of Lyon in France suggest that it was the cooling of the lithium sphere between 2.8 and 2.5 billion years ago during the Neo-Archean era that enabled the Earth's crust to dry specifically enough for mountains to surpass 2,500 meters high for the first time, Nature 2008. From a generally neutral perspective, August 2008 was also probably influenced by Christine Garwood's publication of Flat Earth, The History of an Infamous Idea, which was a Flat Earth review that took no stock in the notion, but nonetheless compiled a host of seminal events surrounding Flat Earth theory. For example, the lectures of Samuel Robotham and his Bedford Level experiment in England and the Flat Earth city of Zion in Utah. <clears throat> As discussed in the previous two paragraphs, reasons for searching flat earth vary. Searches for flat earth certainly don't equate to either flat earth believers or disbelievers, or even interest in the shape of the earth necessarily, but simply fingers typing that spelling. With that said, the two most significant spikes of interest in flat earth can be traced directly to the actions taken on the matter by top charting rapper B.O.B. and NBA all-star Kyrie Irving, and both these events were most certainly about the shape of the earth, and moreover in favor of it being level. In other words, two spikes in flat earth interest came in the same months as which they spoke out, namely January 2016 and February 2017, and it wasn't about beer, economics, or the Neo-Archean era. These interest spikes and their sources indicate it was people, whether dubiously, angrily, or curiously, looking into the shape of the earth. By observing how these news events correlate with spikes in search interest on Google, we can conjecture as to the disposition of the query in the sense that we know what narrative was inspiring the general public to peruse and consume query results for Flat Earth. Interestingly, the development of the news which surrounded spikes in searches for Flat Earth over 10 years ago were related to Flat Earth by a means of association, such as Flat Earth News by Nick Davies and the article in Nature, The End of Flat Earth, while the blips in January 2016 and February of 2017 were definitively affiliated with believing the Earth is flat. If we zoom out, the overarching sociocultural trend behind the reasons for searching Flat Earth shifted from one of jest to the context of inquiry, whether legitimate or not. This shows that the popular narrative lens and the sociocultural imagination behind Flat Earth is shifting from strictly derogatory and dismissive to something that has become more controversial and even debatable. Google Trends indicates worldwide relative interest levels for the specified search term Flat Earth within its own engine. A final thought worth considering, we are currently at a 67% interest level in relation to peak interest during the middle of this current month of June 2017 and haven't dropped below 44% interest for a year now since June of 2016. End of chapter one. Chapter 2 
Chapter 2. Are Flat Earthers Dangerous? Neil Tyson calls Flat Earthers, quote, harmful to citizenry. Three of silver. to see.